now. Stop writing, everybody, and look at the board. Stop writing and look at the board. The question given to you is why? Please stop talking. It was 5.0 sign into 6x minus 3t. That is the question. And then, if I want to solve this problem, I will match this with its equation. And what is its equation? Y is equivalent to amplitude sine into, into what now? 2 pi, 2 pi x over what? Over lambda, thank you, because this is where x is now. When a, an alphabet changes its position, you match the same. Because the sign at the center is an independent is completely independent. Does not affect any of the two sides. It's just there on its own. Either plus or minus is there. So the, the moment you see, anywhere you see X, that is where your own will be. The place you see T, that's where your own will be. So T will be what? 2 pi FT. These are the things you know already. So what are you supposed to do? You now look at the question. For number I, what's the question? Frequency. I have frequency here, so I'll take it first. 2 pi FT equals 3T. T we go. F now will be 3 over 2 pi. That is the answer, which is hers. That's the answer. And if you want to convert this, if you want to convert it, you now say 3 all over 2 times 3.142, which you know is a radian. I told you, when pi is in degree, that the value is what? 180 degrees. But when it is in radian, the value is what? 22 over Guinea or 3.142 or 3, okay or 3.142 and I go for no to go no to no and I go for you go ah so this will now give you yes ah you Okay, minus sign, no. That minus is independent. It's independent. It's still there. Does not affect the two sides at all. It's an independent sign. It's on its own. It is just there to convey the direction of the waves. I told you. I said when a wave is traveling to the right, it carries what? Minus sign. But when it ca it's traveling to the left side, it carries what? Positive. That means it is in, it's an independent sign. It's an independent sign. So here, this is supposed to give you 3 over 6.284. And when you divide, it will not give you what she got, but her own carries minus. 0. Point what? 0. Point what? Four. Four what? Four eight second. Um, sorry, hairs. Four eight hairs. That is exactly. If you want to solve this to the end, that's exactly. Yes. WT is equivalent to this. So W is equal to this. What are we looking for? Mm -hmm. F equals 2 pi over W, which is still the same thing. The person that gave me this solved the problem already. He said, what if? Which means it's solved already. If you take up the W, 
If you take up the equation WT minus alpha WT will be equivalent to this. And what is the value of W? W is 2 pi F. 2 pi F. W is 2 pi F. So in this question now, 2 pi F, they are looking at 2 pi F, which is equivalent to W is 2 pi F, which is equal to 3T. The same thing. The same. No matter the way you take it, you still get the same result. So here, they now asked us to calculate II. And what is the II? II is wavelength. So wavelength, you have 2 pi x over wavelength equals 6x over 1. x will go. This time this will give you wavelength now will be 2 pi over what? Over 6. 2 pi over 6. Which is a meter. You can convert also. Mm -hmm. And we have um, the III. What is it? Uh, speed. Speed. So for the speed, speed is F lambda. So speed will be F is 3 over, 3 over 2 pi times lambda is 2 pi over what? 6. So 2 pi we go. This to 1, this to 2. So, which is 1 over 2, and that's 0 0.5 meter per second. That's the speed. Yeah, the second person that gave me the value got it right. That's 0 0.5. That's 0 0.5. Then, and next one is what? Next is amplitude. Amplitude is IV. So IV. Amplitude A from the question is what? 5.0 meter. That's the amplitude. Amplitude is equivalent to this. And now, next is um, period. V is period T which is 1 over frequency. Already the value of frequency is 3 over. So 1 divided by 3 over 2 pi will now be 2 pi over 3, which is measured in seconds. Measured in seconds. We are solving based on the jump equivalent. You know, you, you don't carry this your big calculator to jump. You only make use of the one in the system. And that one is the one used now the smallest section of our weight. Those plus and minus and division only. No sine, no cosine, no tangent. It's not scientific. Even all those, um, all those uh, FX rules are not there. They are just like Igwe calculator. So normally, you are expected to work based on this. Then, VI is what? Maximum speed. So for the maximum speed, we need to obtain, for maximum speed, we need to obtain W, and we know that W is 2 pi what? 2 pi F. And this W now will be 2 pi multiplied by what is F? What is F? 3 over what? 3 over 2 pi. So for you to solve this now, 2 pi will cancel 2 pi. So what's the value of W? So this is 3 radian per second. So 
with this now, we now say that V maximum is equivalent to WA. W already is 3. A is what? 5.0. And that is what? 15 meter per second. So that's the final of all. So that's exactly yes. I have a question. Let me attend to. I saw this one first. Mm -hmm. When you wait, what? Number two. Number two, that's II now. II is um, wavelength. So wavelength gave me 2 pi over 6. Is that? So. No, pi is not equal to 180. Under this now, this question, pi is not in degree. Pi is in radian. The value of pi in, in radian is 22 over 7. It's not 180. It's only when pi has a value of 180, that's a unit of 180, sorry, a unit of a degree, that you convert it to 180 degrees. This is radian. Please. I don't want you to confuse yourself with those units. Yes, somebody here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. V equals uh, V maximum equals WA. It's either it is WA or WR. R is amplitude. A is R is amplitude under mechanical. A is amplitude under waves. You can still change that W. You can still place the value of W. Value of W is what? So you can change it now. You can still work with V maximum. You can say V maximum equals, instead of W, you put down 2 pi F, then A. So this is still the value of V maximum. Look at the, the instruction 2. You can still use the formula anywhere, anytime, solving the same question. Because you know the value of W already. So you can substitute. You can substitute and get the value. So you can use that formula and still get the, the, the answer. Okay. I want to go around the branches of physics, just seeing questions from different areas because you don't know what you see. We're going to, we are, it's a kind of, we're presenting a kind of a um, new order of um, jam. We just pick questions, simplify them, and give to you just to know exactly the level you are now. So, and it will come from the whole eight branches of, uh, like the physics O, the whole eight branches. And what are these branches? First branch is called what? Metrics. Okay. And metrics contains how many? Eight topics. Mechanics covered eight topics. After mechanics, you have another branch called heat. Heat covered seven topics. Beginning from beginning from from what? That's what we call the linear expansivities. Until do and all that. That's applications. That is heat covered 
expansivities as a whole, which is linear area and what? Cubic. It covered its applications, the advantages, disadvantages, then that is one area. Another area, gas laws under heat. Everything about gas laws, they are under heat. Another area, temperatures, they are under heat. All about temperatures, they are under heat. Another area, latent heat capacity, specific heat capacity, applications like uh, that of um, that of the three areas of applications of heat. The radiation, the what again? Conduction. These are things you know. You still talk. So that, you know, I want to give you the summary of what you are going to see. 40 questions or uh, any number of questions must come from all these areas. That means ratio of any, any ratio. So, and that is exactly for heat. Then you have another branch of physics called waves. That's where we are. We just started the waves. The waves cover three branches. The three branches. But two major areas. The One of the sections of the waves, we say there are waves that does not require material medium, which are called what? Electromagnetics. But the ones that require materials, like that of the mechanical, thank you. So all about waves. So when you go to electromagnetics, you discover that you have two. You go to mechanical, you have two. For the mechanical, you have water and the sound. For the electromagnetics, you have lights and the what? X-rays. X-rays. Then you move over to the next, which is um, after that waves, you have electricity. That's why you talk about the Ohm's laws, measurement of resistance, potentiometers, meter bridges, then the applications like the capacitors, inductors, and all that. Then you now move to another branch of physics called electronics. Electronics. That's why you talk about the, the gates. All the gates. You talk about those minor applications like IC and all that. Transformers and all that. Then you now move to the last part of physics known as radioactivity. Or you call it, you call it, um, you call it what? Advanced physics. That's exactly, these are the branches of physics. So let us now look at sections by sections. It's already very close. But I tell you, for every exam, can you hear me now? Every exam, you have more questions. For every, like, jump exam, even the SSC, E objective, and essay, and all that. You have more questions from mechanics, waves, heat, electricity. Then, the remaining now, electronics, and all that. So, those areas you cover from SS1 to SS2, you have more questions from there. Okay, let us, let me take you back a little. Can I clean the board now? Hey, this, this marker is a... Guys, you go for a marker, po. Very difficult to clean. Get the ink, get the ink. Yes. I 
I don't know the marker that gave us this problem. It still hurts. Okay. Now, let us now look at um, there are some questions I picked just to do the summary, to summarize different sections. At least give us the knowledge of even the ones far, far from us. Now, um, Um, please solve this question. This is, I will take the next next 30 minutes just for mechanics. After that, I will change to the next one after the other. Please, let's just do kind of revision. I read. Are we ready now? Just listen to the question and then you, if it's calculation, you walk and give me the results. And after that, I may ask you to give me your own question in various topics covered. Now, right. Write down this. What weight of water would exert a pressure of 200 newton Okay, now I read. Right now. What weight, what weight of water? Weight of water. Weight of what? Water. Will, what weight of water will? Okay, sorry. Would exert, exert a pressure of Exert a pressure of 200 newton per meter square. 200 newton per meter square on the base of a tank. On the base of a tank. On the base of a tank. Zero point, the base of a tank. 0 0.2 meter by 0 0.3 0 0.2 meter by 0 0.3 meter question mark can you guess what topic is this one thank you we, you know that this is one of the areas I asked you to read up mm -hmm. So give me the result immediately. This is one of the areas I asked you to read up. So I have to pick directly from there. Yes. 12, uh, 12 Newton. What exactly are we looking for? Wait. Wait. Yes, 12. 12, give me one. 12 models over here. Any time you give me an answer, make sure the unit is there. Unless it has no units. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? 12 meter. Hey. Kilogram. On a change, is a change. So I chief chief chago chief goma unit of weight, yes? Twelve newton. Twelve newton. Options. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
What is pressure? Pressure is force over what? Over area. Force over area. And force has the same unit as what? As what? As, as weight. As weight. So this pressure is given as 200. This is force. Area is the area of a what? A tank. The base of a tank is length times what? Right. That means this time this will give us what? 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.06. So if you cross multiply, the force is the same in Newton. This time this will give me what? 12 Newton. As long as the, you know that weight is normally mg, but it's not needed here because we are talking about a stable object. A stable object. Okay. Thank you. Are we ready now? Now listen to this. This is not calculation. I'm selecting from different areas. This is not calculation. To achieve the aim of simple microscope. I don't know whether your ears are here. Listening. To achieve what? The aim of what? The aim of what? Simple microscope. Simple microscope. The object position must be dash. Object position must be dash. To achieve the aim of a simple microscope, the object position must be dash. And listen to the answers here. Number A, less, okay, lens, 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 there's a mistake here, it's less than the focal length, but how do less, lens, instead of L-E-S-S, -S. number A, less than the focal length, number B, more than the focal length, number C, equal to the focal length and number D at infinity. Let me come up again. To achieve the aim of a simple microscope, the object position must be number A, less than the focal length. Please, let's go to let's go to simple microscope. Let's look at a simple microscope. A simple microscope is simply a converging lens. This is this is the principal axis. When you use this converging lens to view an object, an object, this is an object. This is an object O. And here now you have this side also you have uh, this is F. Here is 2F. This is F prime. This is 2F prime. So when you place this now to view an object and the ray strike here that ray that strike here supposed to pass through where? 
Supposed to pass through where? Hi. This ray that strike here will pass through which place? Huh? We pass through the F prime. It's supposed to pass through the F prime. But here now, passing through the F prime means its apparent will appear. And another one will pass through where? We pass through the center. Hell, who's so good? So, the same apparent will move to me this one. So that it will give you an enlarged image eye. An enlarged image eye anywhere. We may not regard this, but what we needed is where is the object, looking at this diagram now, where is the object? Huh? Huh? Let me listen to let me listen to those intelligent physics, yes? At a distance where, yes? Between the focal point and the, what is it called? Between the focal point F, uh, yeah, be, between the principal focus and the, the the optical center of the lens is called what? It's called focal length. It's called focal length. When you are using the lens from the center of the lens to where you see F. Is the focal length. Because that F is at a point where real images are formed. And anywhere a real image is formed from the lens, it means it is the position of the focal length from the lens. Now, looking at this diagram, answer my question. That's good. When you want to answer certain questions, use your textbook. You will discover that you learn more. Now, let me read out the question again. So let me ask class. The name given to the center of the lens is what? Hey! Child. Hey! Hey! Some of us are not good readers, so yes? Optical center. I asked you a very simple question. What is the name given to the center of a lens? The answer is what? Optical center. Optical center. Now, answer my question again. What name is given to the distance between the optical center and uh, the principal focus? Eh? Focal length. Now, look at that diagram. Where is the object? Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Now listen to this question now. Listen to this question now. Just take it up. Shh. Concentrate. Learning is a process. Look at the question again. To achieve the end of, of simple microscope, the object position must be, must be, object position must be, number A, less than the focal length. Object position must be less than the focal length. Number B, more than the focal length. Number C, equal to the focal length. Number D, at infinity. Eh? Less than the focal length. 
less than the focal length. If you go back to one of the 90s, Jump asked this same question and gave answers. And their answers include number A. They gave the same answer, but the answers include number A, 2F, B, F over 2, C, just like that. Now, the answer you gave me now, which of these is it equal to? Eh? F over 2. F over 2. The answer you gave me now, number A, is F over 2. F over 2. And that's exactly why, that's exactly why in your, in most of the questions in JAM, you discover that, you discover that um, the position, the position of the object U is F over 2. U is F over 2. For the lens to become what is called simple microscope or hand lens in biology. In your biology, you call it hand lens. In physics, you call it simple microscope because it's application of one lens only. It's one lens only. But when two lenses are now used, you call it compound microscope. You call it what? You call it compound microscope. Compound microscope. Compound microscope. Mm. So a compound microscope is the complex one. Is the complex one such that the distance between the separation of the two lenses must be V plus V O plus U E. You may see such again in any exam. Very, very important. That of the microscope. So this is simple microscope. Thank you. Now the cheapest question I can see in the whole of what I have here. Shh, look up here. It said, what is the SI unit? What is the SI unit of inductance? What is the SI unit of inductance? Yes? Inductance. Huh? Okay. What is the SI unit of capacitance? Faraday. Sorry. What is the SI unit of capacitance? Huh? Farad. Thank you. Farad. Capacitance is farad. But inductance is what? Inductance is what? Is Henry. And what is the SI unit of resistance? Eh? Ohms. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes? Accelerate 5 meters per second square, yes? For a time of a Please, let's, let's help him with this question. A body accelerates at the rate of 5 meter per second square for a time what? 5 seconds, yes? Calculate the word. Complete that question. There's something missing somewhere. Uh -huh. Okay, calculate the distance. Travel by the body. Is it from rest? That's what I want to know. A body. Uh-huh. At the rate of, yes. 
uniformly accelerated at the rate of this for five seconds. Uh huh. The, the distance traveled when? Does distance traveled? Okay. Okay. Now, it's okay. Now we know that acceleration already is V minus U over T. That's acceleration. That's acceleration. But this body now, we need to know whether the body, if the body started from rest, we have V. But if not, we go straight. So if this is acceleration, acceleration also, this is acceleration, meaning that V equals U plus AT. And also, for the distance, we have that S is equivalent to UT plus half a t square. And we have also that v square equals u square plus uh, plus what? 2as. Now, looking at the whole of this, we have also for the distance s equals v plus u over, over 2 times t. Now, this one has no acceleration. But look, that, that was the reason why I asked you the question because looking at this now, distance here, you have initial velocity. Distance here, you have initial velocity. You have final velocity. So from the question given to you, there must be a remark to tell you the value of that initial velocity. But we're taking initial velocity to be equal to what? Zero. So let's, let's take it that the body moving from a point accelerated uniformly, which means u equal to zero. So if u is equal to zero, it means you will now make use of this. That the distance is equivalent to half a t squared directly. So distance here will be half. Multiply by acceleration is five. 5 squared. So, all over 1. 5 squared is what? 25 times 5? Uh, 125 over 2? 62 point what? 5 meters. So, if the initial velocity is 0, that was why I asked the question. That was why I asked the question. But, I have to state the equations just for you to know that these are all possible anytime, anywhere, depending on the nature. For example, the particular question I have here. Now solve this. Solve this one. Solve this one. Are we ready now? Yes. Okay. A body moving from rest. A body, a body moving from rest. A body moving from rest. Accelerated uniformly. Accelerated uniformly. Accelerated uniformly. At the rate of 6 meter per second square at the rate of 6 meter per second square full stop determine the distance determine the distance determine its distance sorry its distance its distance its distance at the fifth at the fifth second, at the fifth second of its motion. Full stop. You still make use of any of the equations here, but this one has to do with 
your reasoning. Twenty twenty seven meters. Yes, any other? Yes. Uh huh. Twenty twenty seven meters. 27 meters. Yes, any other? Okay, the same. Yes. 330 meters. Three hundred and thirty meters. Long option. Twenty twenty seven meters. Okay. Thank you. Let's move. Somebody took us back again. Now I've been moving from one topic to another. But another person asked me the question how will I know the equation to be used? Thank you. Let me now identify. Let me answer that question this way. Please. The person that asked me this question, can you look up here? From the question now, give me the first parameter. First one is initial equal to what? From the question I gave you, yes? Acceleration is what? Per second square. Next one. The total time, which is G2 is five seconds. But T1 is what? Four seconds. Why? Thank you. From this question now, this is a, a compound question. They said, instead of telling you to calculate this in five seconds, like here, five seconds. But here now, 50 watts. By TH means last. Last one second of five. Out of the five seconds, this one is five seconds, which means you use five. But here they say fifth. Fifth means the last of the five. I can say first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And I'll ask the fifth person to stand up. That means one over five. So when I remove that one, the fifth, from the entire five, it will give me four. So the difference I am looking for is the distance covered within these two, the range of these two. So under this now, choosing, I am looking for a distance. Choosing an equation here. Something is missing here. And what is missing? Huh? What is missing here? What is missing? Final velocity is missing. There is no V here. There is initial velocity, acceleration, time, and distance. No final velocity. And look at this. Look at this. Is there any equation here without a final velocity? And which one? Second, uh, I have equation one, two, three, four. Equation 2 has no final velocity. And this one has no final velocity. So I will go back and say that S is equivalent to UT plus half AT squared. That is how to select the person that asked me that question, please. With this now, 
I will now ask myself, which one am I looking for? I have T2. For T2 means S2 now equals initial is zero. Time for T2 is five plus half. Acceleration six. Time for T2 is five squared. All over one. This we go times zero. Half of six is three. Five squared is what? Twenty-five times three. Uh, 75 meters. Then S2 will be the same UT plus half AT squared. Sorry, S1. No. So 0 is here also. Times 4 plus half times 6 times 4 squared. Half of 6 is also 3. 4 squared is what? 16 times 3, huh? 48. So here is 48 meters. Then the distance is S2 minus S1. S2 is what? This is 48. This minus this? 27 meters. So this is the answer. 27. 27 meters. That is exactly I have a particular diagram here. This is a diagram. From the diagram I have here zero. P Q R, S, T, U, this is time in seconds, here is um, Y in meter. Now, look at this diagram. Look at this diagram. Look at the diagram. Study, look at the diagram very well. And that last diagram and answer my question. I'm going to give you the question now. What is here? Huh? Zero. What is here? Here. 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 And here. Okay. So looking at this now, look at the question. It said, in the diagram above, just look at the question, look at the diagram. In the diagram above, the period of the wave the period of the wave is the time taken for the wave front to move from, I repeat, in the diagram above, the period of the wave is the time taken for the wave, for the wave front to move from what to what. And the answer is here. The answers recorded here. This is OQ B O T C O S 
D. O U. Look at that diagram very well. What what's supposed to be the answer? Ah? Huh? Oh what? What exactly are we looking for? The what? Oh, when that water him to. In the diagram above, the period of the wave. Period of the wave. Is the time taken. That period is the time taken. Time taken. For the wave front to move from what to what? Huh? OS. Okay. Thank you. If I want to talk about the wavelengths, I talk about O what? O what? Wavelength is OS. OS is wavelength. But period, when I talk about crests, crest is what? P and what? And trough is what? R. But when I talk about period of the wave, when I talk about the period, the period is small t over number of waves. That's the period. Small t over number of waves. We'll give you this. And uh, this small t now, time taking for the entire wave to cover means the wave has traveled from here. This is one wave. So the value of N will be what now? One and a half. Which is 1.5. Which, which will give me O what? So for me to talk about this period, it is the entire O U that I'm looking for. Which is time taking for this number of oscillation to occur. So what is the answer now? O U. The period is a uh, time taking to complete one period. If it's the period of the waves, period is not with the time required to cover time required for a wave to travel what. Complete oscillation. Time taken to complete one oscillation. But they announced what was the question like? The question said for the wave front. Wave front. That means entire motion of the wave. So what's going to be the period? For the wave front, wave front is from that is the entire motion of the whole waves. The, for example, the whole distance covered by the waves, covered from what to what? Huh? O to U, which is the entire front, the whole, not just the periodic, not a complete period. You know, the question gave you period. Period is, period is, Time taken 
for a complete translation. Not particular, not only one complete. When you talk about frequency, that's when you talk about one cycle. One cycle. It's frequency that is one cycle. A period is not one cycle. So know the difference. If we talk about the cycle now, which is frequency, the only complete cycle there is what? It's OS. OS is a complete cycle. For frequency. For period, it's not frequency. So period is one over the frequency. So period is higher. But in that question, they gave you something, an alternative. And what was it? Front. That is the entire thing you can see. I don't know whether it's clear. It's not clear. I don't know. Period is a uh, time taking. Time taking to complete an oscillation, which is correct. But, but, but they said for this wave front. What is a wave front? Uh -huh. If I want to get the period anywhere, huh? If I want to get the period anywhere, huh? For example, what about what? Me pay here. Me pay. Me pay here. If I have something like this, if I have something like this now, can I, from here now, can I calculate the period of the motion? What's the number of, what's the number? Huh? 3.5. Number of waves. What is important is time taking for a wave to complete such number of cycles. The number of cycles there is three and a half. It's a cycle. One and a half is a cycle. Two and a half is a, one is a cycle. Cycle is not specific, but in frequency, one cycle. We are talking about one oscillation. But when we say only one cycle, it's different from when you say the, the, the entire wave traveled a period of this. I just want you to understand that you can calculate period. Okay. Now, using this now, if I give you this place as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and I remove this one now and mark this place. Mark here. And mark here 12 meters. I give you here as time and here as y in meter. Look at this diagram here. Now, determine the period of the waves. Determine the period of the waves. Look at this on the board. Determine for me the period of the waves. Determine the period of the waves. This is uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. And this is the three of them, the, all of them covered this distance. So, you solved the equivalent question before now. Zero point, uh, zero point one. What's supposed to be the, what's supposed to be the wavelength? Get me the wavelength also. Huh? Wave 
Netherlands. Okay. Now. Now let's see. For me to talk about the period here, I will fa- find out the word frequency. Okay. One over frequency is the period, which is the same as multi over what? Now, frequency. Small t is what? 0.3. Number is what? 1, 2, 3. So if I cross multiply, F now will be 3 over 0.3. And that's what? Huh? And that is 10. 10 hertz. So if this is 10, then period we know is 1 over F, which is 1 over 10. And that is 0.1 second. So this is what they're asked to calculate. So when you're asked to calculate the period, what you check is the number of waves and the time allocated to it. Number of waves and time. That number of waves, you only follow up all the waves. You don't just count off. You don't just count off. It's a distance. It's a distance. So, if I'm looking for the, if I'm looking for wavelength, three wavelengths is a distance 12. Cover the distance 12 meters. So that wavelength will be 12 over what? And that's what? Four meters. Four meters. So that 12 there is a distance. Okay. Now, somebody gave me this. Um, the period of the waves is the time taken for the wave front to move from what to what? What is the period? Somebody gave me another diagram here. So let us look at the diagram again before we now change over. So look at this diagram here. This is the diagram given to me here. And this place is marked O. This is P. Q, R, O, A, A. I can't copy it here, Gordon. S, T, U, V. W X Y Z. This is a complete diagram given by someone here. This is a complete diagram given by someone. So look at the diagram. And let us now Talk about the question here. How many oscillations are here on the board? Three. Huh? Three. three. One, two, three. Complete oscillations. Now, this is the question. It said, the period of the wave 
is the time taken for the wave front to move from what to what? Huh? You know, we have many. We have many waves now. We have many waves now. So, under this now, we can talk about period one, period two. But the, the entire period of the, he said the period of the, sorry, what they wrote here, the period of the wave, not waves. The other one is waves. The period. What they wrote here is period of the wave. One. Not waves. How many waves are there? Three. So the period of the wave, single. Sorry. Peter, come to the the wedding. So period of the wave will be what? What or what? For one wave. When they say one wave, but waves. Check the first one we answered. Is it wave or waves? Waves. Waves. This is one wave. So for one wave only, for single wave only, that is O to S. But for wave, for the entire waves, it must be what? O to, o to Z. O to Z. That's exactly. And look at another question here. He said, what is the period? How to try to play again? What is the period? What is the period? So give me the period. For this question now, for this diagram on the board, what is the period? You must form its its principle now. As will be what is the wave? What is the period? You can auto S is not period. What is the period? O Z over Hey. You're, that, you're talking about one wave only. And you say for the one wave, it is from O to what? O to S. Hmm? But for, for the period of that one wave, what is supposed to be? Hey, period. Let's, let's look at... Let's look up here. What is the time taken here? Time here for the one wave. First, this first wave, what's the time? Time is OS. Time is OS. Then, how many waves are here? Hey! I am talking about one. They said wave, W A V E. Uh, so number of waves begin go one one then what's the period now uh, OS over which is the same as what OS she was correct initially but mathematics so the period the answer for the period is what OS. That's the answer. Even a jump when I do question now we lecture sometimes it's simple and can't work for you. Mm-hmm. Because this is time over number. Time over number. And that's exactly. Okay. The next question is on Okay, this is electrical. Electrical. Uh, 
an electrical. An electrical. We just sample some questions there. Let's begin. On the side of electrical, let's begin from the basic of SS1, which is cells. Let's just touch few and stop. Okay. The first one now writes. Please write. Calculate the efficiency. Calculate the efficiency of a cell. Calculate the efficiency of a cell. Efficiency. Efficiency of a cell. Please, prefix. More marker. Just give me more two. Efficiency of a cell. Of EMF, four votes. Of EMF, four votes. Of, of EMF, four votes. Four votes. And internal resistance of two ohms. Internal resistance of two ohms. Internal resistance of two ohms. When, when connected, when connected to a six ohm resistor, when connected to a six ohm resistor, full stop. Now get me the efficiency. When connected to a six ohm resistor, six ohm resistor. So remember the argument here. A single wave and the many waves and the single. When many, you cover the period. Yes, yes, yes. Time will not allow us to go through everything. But next year we will we'll cover up the beginning. Yes? 50, 50%. Yes, yes. Any other? Any other? Huh? Any other? Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Anybody? So, so one person. Ah, uh ah. -uh. We can't odds. If you remember a network of Mark McKenna, Messi. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. Now, look up. Whenever we talk about efficiency, please look up here. Efficiency of a cell is the power output over power input times 100 over 1. That's efficiency. Or, or it is the same as I squared R over I squared into I squared into big R plus small R multiplied by 100 over 1. Or it is the same as big R over this times 100 over 1, which is also the same as I squared R over IE times 100 over 1. Anytime you talk about cells in electricity, these are the 
equations that make up the efficiency of the cell. Let's name these things one by one before we call it a day. Before we solve and then call it a day. Look at the board. This symbol is called what? Uh, this, call, this is called what? Power output. This is what? This is what? External resistance. Say it. This is what? This is what? I is current. I is current. And this is what? Electromotive force, which is the EMF. Thank you. Electromotive force. This capital E is different from efficiency. Then the question they gave you here, they said you should calculate efficiency. They gave you R. They gave you big R plus small r times this over 1. The value of E they gave you, the E they gave you, no current is given. So this is the one that will solve the problem. So efficiency here will be 6 over 6 plus 2 times 100 over 1. So that efficiency will be 600 over what? Over 8. And that is what? 75%. So that is the efficiency of the cell. 75%. That is the efficiency of the cell. That is the efficiency. Huh? The vote. Look at where you have the EMF now. Is there any current in that question? No. So you can use it. You can use it. You can use it. Now, the final question for the day. Still on efficiency. Solve this and let's end it here. Are you ready now? We are ending up here now. Solve this question. I believe many of us will get it. If all of us should fail this one, we continue. <laughs> okay, I believe. Oh yeah, right. Please write, write, write. Uh, uh, you can copy this later now. Uh, it's not true. Now, write. An electric motor. An electric motor. An electric motor. Walking from Walking from an electric motor, walking, walking from a, walking from a 200 volts mains. Look at it on the board. Whenever you see this, you know it is EMF. You know it is what? Hence you see this, it is EMF. Yeah, hence you see this man is attached to V. It is EMF. So now continue. Please read it. Read it. Read it for me. Uh -huh. Requires a current. Requires a current. A current of 1.5 amps. For its for its operation. For its operation. For its operation. Full stop. If the efficiency of the cell, if the efficiency of the cell, if the efficiency of the cell is 
80%, comma, if the efficiency of the cell is 80%, comma, determine the power output. 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 The power output. Determine the power output of the system. Full stop. Now, get me the results. Is the answer? Oh, I'm waiting for the answer now. Yes, any other? For? It says 40. <laughs> 240. Okay. Now. Please look at the board. It's time. Efficiency here is power output over input is IE times 100 over 1. Efficiency here is 80 over 1 equals this is what I'm looking for. I is 1.5 times 200 all 100 over 1. So for this we cross multiply. This time this will give me 100 PO equals 80 times 1.5 times 200 is what? 24,000. <laughs> this will cancel both sides. So that PO will be 240 watts. That's the power output.